All right. I think I cracked the code to lower the drawbridge. Great. Let's do it. <laughs> Bridge is lowering. <laughs> My carpal tunnel's acting up. Play through the pain. <laughs> you did it. The drawbridge is down. You cross the chasm and find yourself in a small dungeon room. And in the corner, chained to the wall, you see a bloodied and beaten Santa Claus. He says, ho, ho, help me. <laughs> yes, we found Santa Christmas is saved. And don't ever tell my mother I said that. I take out my skeleton key and run to Santa to unchain him. But first I cast a spell of paralysis on Stuart and Howard. What are you doing? Yeah, you can't talk. You're paralyzed. <laughs> I get right up in Santa's big fat face and say, well, 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 jolly old Saint Nick, we meet again. Yeah, I believe the last time we spoke was in the Baybrook Mall in Galveston, Texas, when I was five years old. Isn't that right? Uh, okay. <laughs> and my mother dragged me there and she popped me down in your lap and you asked me what I wanted for Christmas. And I told you my pop pop because that was the year my grandfather died. I missed him, and I wanted him back. This is weird, right? <laughs> Pop Pop was the only one in my family who encouraged me to pursue science. But you didn't bring him back, did you? No, instead I got Lincoln Logs. Now, you can build a lot of neat things out of Lincoln Logs, but Pop Pop ain't one of them. <laughs> and now you're here asking me for something to save you. Well, sorry, Mr. Kringle, but today's not your day. I'm leaving you here to rot, and I hope the ogres feast on your bones. I take the skeleton key, and I toss it into the chasm, and on the way out, I give Santa a swift kick in his bowl full of jelly. <laughs> okay. So Wallowitz and Stuart are paralyzed, Santa's dead, and I pick this over having sex with my girlfriend. 